The Quran very clearly encourages us to marry. Ankihu, marry. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages us to have love. وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً That there should be love and mercy between you. It encourages us to create healthy families. Maybe someone will say, but what about the verse, even sisters will ask, in the fourth chapter of the Quran, Quran, وَضْرِبُوهُنْ It says, you know, you should beat your wife lightly. As one convert brother said to me, I never heard of a light beat down. We have to go to the early jurist who said very clearly, Abdul Rawah and others said that this verse was abrogated. Shaykh Taha Jabr al-Awani, one of my teachers who recently passed away, said that this verse was initially sent for taqeed, because the Arabs as Sayyidah Aisha mentions in Sahih Bukhari, they were known for beating their women unfortunately. So this verse uses the form, wadrib. that form means to limit and not exceed the bounds of normality. That's why Ibn Abbas, he said like to tap like this. It was controlling a social phenomenon. And then ultimately it was abrogated. Mansukh, as mentioned by Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu anha, who said that the Prophet that the Prophet never hit a woman So no one should be using this verse now, and if they are, they should be corrected. Because Islamophobia is not only helped by the hatred that the Islamophobes have for Islam. Islamophobia is primarily helped by the ignorance that Islam, that Muslims have of their own religion. Their inability to act on it properly. 